In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the new slideshow module for our district website and Moodle system. First thing you want to start with is a folder of images. So I've located my folder of images here. I'm going to back up and look at my folder here. To make these fold images to upload much faster and easier, I'm going to right click on my folder, select on send to, and the very first option there is compress zip folder. I'm going to zip my images in the folder um, as a zipped file. When I do that immediately it comes zipped and it's called sample pictures and I'm going to call, I'm going to rename it to um, field drip pictures. It's going to save my file. And I'm going to log into my Moodle page. So I've logged into my Moodle page here. And over on the left hand side, um, it could be in a different spot for you, but under my administration block, I'm going to go to files. When I click on files, this is the same thing as me accessing all of my images on my page, or my files on my page. And I'm going to go to upload a file, choose the file, and locate that file on my computer, that zipped folder that you created. Mine is in my pictures folder. And if I scroll down just a little bit, you will see my field trips pictures zipped file. The icon will look like a zipped folder. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click on open. And then select on upload this file. Depending on the size, this could take a couple of minutes. And then I will see my files listed in my file folder. If you notice on my page there, it says field trip pictures. And if I follow it all the way across, there's going to be a button that says unzip. When I click on unzip, it's going to unzip all of my pictures. I'm going to hit OK. And I will now notice I have a sample pictures folder, which is originally what I had called it, on my computer and on my Moodle page or website. I am going to check mark next to field trip pictures and select at the bottom with chosen files, delete completely just so that file is not on my page anymore. I'm now going to go back to my website by following my breadcrumbs and add an activity. So I'm going to select add an activity from my list and on there I'm going to choose slideshow. In order to add an activity you do need to ensure that your turn editing on is selected. So I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this field trip photos. This next question is going to ask is where do you want to grab those photos from? So I had called my folder sample pictures so I'm going to go ahead and click on sample pictures. I do have the option to include file names and captions. I'm going to say nowhere. I don't want my file name and captions on there. Um, but if I did I would just say I want it to appear below or right or above. Thumbnail position. That's going to give a little uh, screenshots of those images. Do I want to appear above or below? Would I like it to appear centered? Would I like to add my own captions based on displaying the caption up here? If so, I put a check mark. Would I like the black the slideshow on a black background? Yes or no, just by placing those check marks there. The last thing it's going to ask you is slideshow display time. How long would you like? the slideshow to last on each picture. So I can say it's I want each picture to last for five seconds. Visible, this is the same as selecting the eyeball. Do you want your parents and students to see it immediately? Um, click on show or hide. I'm going to go ahead and hit save changes. It is then going to save it and there is my snapshot in picture of my photos. I can now click on each image and it will give me a picture on there. In the bottom right hand corner um, there is a button that says autoplay and a pop-up which will allow you to pop up a window and it will play the slideshow automatically. There's also a button here that says force recompress files and it's going to make sure that they're smaller. By default this will automatically do this so you will not really need to make that change. The other is to click on edit captions. So right now on this picture it says desert but if I'd like to change that I can click on edit captions and come in here and give it a new name instead of desert I can put um, desert 
image. Or I could include some more information on there. All I do is scroll to the very bottom and hit Save Changes. And that image will be changed. If I go back to my web page, so SMS web page, that's the name of my web page through my breadcrumbs, I will notice I have a little icon on here that says Field Trip Photos, which is the name that I created. So when my parents come to my web page, they can click on this and then view the photos right there. They can also select autoplay and pop out if they'd like to see them, and they view that way.